Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The yes, earth and, and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. I shall praise your name to the heights, for you have lifted me up, away from the gloating of my enemies. I cried to you, God, and you healed me. You raised me from deaths of despair. From death to life you delivered me. Sing a psalm to God, you faithful people. Give thanks to God's holy name. God's anger lasts for a moment. God's grace lasts for a lifetime. Tears may linger through the night, but joy comes in the morning. I felt secure and said to myself, I doubt I shall ever be shaken. Like a strong mountain, you protected me. But then, but then you hid your face, and, and I was filled with dismay. I cried to you, my God. I pleaded with you for mercy. What can be gained by my death if, if I, I disappear into oblivion? Can dust of a heartfelt praise or tell of your faithful love? Hear, O God, and take pity. Come and be my helper. You have turned my mourning to dancing. You have clothed me with great joy. I will sing to you without ceasing. My God, I will praise you forever. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth. Follow me, he said to him. And he got up and followed him, leaving everything behind. Then Levi gave a great banquet in his house for Jesus. And there was a large crowd of tax collectors and others sitting at the table with them. But the Pharisees and their experts in the law complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered them, Those who are well don't need a physician, but those who are sick do. I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Strangers are innocent victims. 
Jesus Christ, brother of all, we thank you for showing us that we are all worthy of God's love. You told stories about the poor, the outcast and the homeless being invited to your wedding feast. You touched those deemed untouchable. You spoke to those no one spoke to. You shared food with those excluded from the society and you asked people what they wanted. Holy Spirit, we thank you for all the times you have moved our hearts to reach out, to listen, to see, to walk beside people. We thank you for all the people, organizations and movements that work on bringing lasting change to our societies. Loving God, we thank you for the privilege and joy of being part of your intention and your work in this world. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On the ninth day, we pray for people living in poverty, for trade justice, for aid and advocacy organisations. We remember the people of Moldova, Ukraine, Belarus, Russia, Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan. We pray for members belonging to the family group of Glasgow East and Lanarkshire, for Sarah Dinwoody and Kieran with Miriam and John, Marvin Mackay, Chris Mercer, Susan Miller, Stuart Smith and Mary, Joyce Yendo. On the ninth day, we pray for associate members in England, South East, in Nottingham, Lincoln and Derby.
Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness, and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community, that hidden things may be revealed to us, and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, may we, we preserve, preserve with each other sincere charity, charity and peace, and, and if, if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continues still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love. God in community, holy and one. 